I'm Joanna Simpson here at Fun Forum International. Joining me now is Jean-Jacques Couillac, Senior Vice President and Head of Strategy at FIS. Thank you very much for joining me today. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning. And how are asset management strategies changing? Uh, it, it's a very interesting trend. I think we are in a continuous trend of active strategies being threatened by uh, the passive strategy index traded funds with lower management fees and, and fairly automated, very automated processes. So there is the passive strategies, the index traded funds are really capturing more and more of the active strategies. And could the rise of passive strategies spell the death of active management? Uh, it could be on a long term, but I think there is, a, we think, there is still a very interesting appetite for, the, uh, for, for beating the index. I think uh, nobody wants to be like everybody else. I mean, there is, for private investors, and uh, a very, very strong appetite to, uh, to be uh, beating the index. And would you say that investors are becoming more active too? And what do these long-term strategies actually look like? I think the, um, the individual investors is becoming more and more aware of two factors. First, they are active on their tablets, on their iPhones, looking at the returns, looking at the short, maybe a short-term view of the investments. Uh, but they're also very conscious of the need for better long-term strategies, where basically over five years, looking at their future pensions, looking at the, what they will need in the futures, they will try to have uh, long-term strategies beating the index. And how do institutional investors feel about this multi-asset, multi-strategy investment approach? I think they, they are um, moving into it. They are looking at injecting in their portfolios some active management in uh, complex uh, strategies based on bilateral OTCs and, and moving away from the, the, the typical uh, equity and fixed income and bonds and combining that with private equity funds and um, we call that liquid alpha. So are fund services ready to support liquid alpha strategies that you mentioned? I think there's a very strong appetite uh, for new type of funds uh, to work hard and capture alpha strategies especially coming from uh, pension funds, sovereign funds that are emerging in, uh, in Saudi Arabia and in, in all new countries. And uh, they, have, they want to combine passive strategy with active strategy supporting uh, OTCs, bilateral OTCs, supporting more complex instrument, private equity, and so on. And given these challenges, how can fund services best prepare their operations? I think they are supporting currently these sort of strategies, but at a fairly high cost, especially for the active ones, obviously. And I think they have to, to find the right balance to provide into one platform uh, a way to cope with accounting, fund services, and so on, in, in a fairly competitive way. Jean-Jacques Couillac, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.